there's probably a cloud flower or a heart flower. This is kind of hard to tell at some points. Bagged my his life away. Are you struggling to stop the run? Be sure you check out Meister Madden for a full guide covering all the meta formations from iPhone Close to Heavy Panther. What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be covering AKG's defense. I have a crap ton of notes on just AKG in general from this one game. Got about six pages of it. So to keep it a little shorter, we're going to stick to his defense today and we'll do his offense in a separate video. So right now, all they're doing is just setting their audibles. This is something that a lot of players need to do is set your audibles for all of the plays you're going to be calling all the formations you're going to be using or plan on using and just have an agreement like they do right here they're going to take the late game akg is going to decline it and then they're going to get right into their game plan now sometimes it may take a couple just to get it all set up but in this case they just end up needing one it looks like akg i'm assuming is still setting his orbitals maybe switching around his personnel where he wants them to be in this particular formation but we're going to go ahead and get into it so AKG is in 3-4 odd against this. I think it's far close. I don't know West Coast all too often. But I don't really get why Ice runs right here. He, he, he loses yards and now AKG starts talking crap, which I think is actually a really good thing. If you guys have ever played sports before, you know sports is mental and strategic. There's two aspects of any kind of sports, whether it be an eSport or an actual physical sport it's all mental and so him getting into ice's head is going to be it can be huge because if you can't take the heat then get out of the kitchen so here in second and nine he's going to go ahead and get into 146 and he plays it safe right here now when this is your first drive on defense first drive on offense whatever the case may be you're generally going to play it pretty safe you're not going to play too aggressive on defense you're not going to get too adjusty on defense that's a big mistake a lot of people make say hey i'm gonna i'm gonna Blitz 6, Blitz 20, and then I'm going to make all these different adjustments, and you don't have a clue on what they're calling. And right now, AKG's in a cover 3. I can see his little screen right there. Cover 3, he goes for a cover 3 beater, and instead, he takes his check down. So, you guys, if you paid attention, AKG's user right there was the one that was taking away that cover 3 beater. Beat bitter. Cover 3 beater, it's a, it's, a, it's a really easy beater. I'll make a video on how you can guys set that up. It's really simple. But again, he goes back into this near formation. I don't uh, near or far. I don't remember the difference between the two. And again, pretty much gets stuffed in the backfield. Maybe what yard gain of a yard, loss of a yard, gain of a yard. Gets really, really, really fortunate right there in that situation. Which listen to what Mo says. Listen to what Mo says. This is really important. We're gonna pause the video right there. Mo talks a little bit about getting his opponent, getting your opponent out of their game plan. In this case, Ice is a passer. He's he's known for passing out of the West Coast, and AKG gets him into this near or whatever the formation is, and gets him out of it. He gets a gain yard, and he wastes a down. Essentially, is what he's doing. He's wasting time. He's wasting a down for a, what a gain of one yard already down. But do keep in mind, we skip quite a bit. But Ice gets the ball in the second half. So even if don't care about Ice gets three points here, if he can get the ball in the second half, he can score a touchdown. AKG is now playing from behind. So with all this being said, AKG is still, I want to say, still playing from behind. Even though he's up three points, he doesn't get the ball at half. If he got the ball at half, it'd be a completely different ball game. So realistically, AKG still got to get a stop and preferably get a touchdown before the half ends. So we're gonna let this play out. So second and nine, you'll notice AKG's giving him the same exact look. We can cover this in separate videos. Well, I've got this on my website uh, as well as Big Down 146. And just, he boxes him. He's in a bag. He two routes it. And there was nobody open whatsoever. And so now it's third and six. AKG's gonna take a timeout or, or top pause. And he's gonna talk about his controller. He thinks his controller is messing up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and just skip. So in this third and six, you'll notice that AKG switches up his defense. He's now in the three, four bear. And I, I think he should have stayed in this defense the entire time. With one simple adjustment in the game, he could have just shut down ice the whole time. Screams at him. There's nowhere to throw whatsoever. Now, he might have had the flats. He might have had that wheel route if he had time. He didn't have time. The blitz gets home. 
and AKG forces the turnover that he needs before half. So he has a little bit over a minute to work with. I think he has about a minute and probably 15 seconds by the time he gets tackled. Pretty close to it. So about a minute and 18 seconds to work with. So now AKG is on offense. This is going to be huge. Also pay attention that Ice is giving him the same look. Don't care about Ice. is doing the same thing. Big Dime 146. Same exact look on defense. You kind of got to look post snap to see what they're doing on offense. He does sweep. And this is a really popular thing you're going to notice he does a lot. He motions over his slot receiver to pick up the slot corner on the opposite side. So then he doesn't get chased and tackled from behind. So this is going to be starting to become a cat and mouse game. They both had their first drive on offense and defense. They're both starting to kind of figure out their opponent's tendencies and settle in just a little bit more. AKG was able to waste an entire quarter, which for a passer, that's impressive in and of itself. I got to say, I'm excited to go over the offensive portion over it. But second and six. In this situation, Ice drops into coverage. And you'll see what happens right here. It's, it's kind of kind of unfortunate with what happened so he drops into coverage he only rushes three akg at this time doesn't really have much time he rolls out and he gets an unlucky animation what kind of sucks about that is is realistically since there's a receiver on the right side of the field aaron Rodgers should just be able to throw it towards that direction that wide receiver for a incomplete what would be considered an incomplete pass so right here third and 20 tries to get a little bit of stick work behind it and Ice takes a timeout to get the ball over. So, you'll notice there's a common theme with that particular down. AKG is going to frequently take his flats, especially in that kind of situation. He'll get into it later on in the game as well, where he's just going to try and swerve the user to get a big gain of yards. So, in a sense, it's kind of a low risk, high reward offense. So this is going to be huge right here. And this is something that AKG consistently does. I don't know why, but he presses. You'll notice that he presses every single time. If if this was to happen to me, you notice this isn't a this is a baseline press. I'm pretty sure it's a baseline press. 3-4 bear and this press is what's going to kill AKG. That was a deep half. I'm 90% sure that's a deep half. But because he presses what happens is that drag pulls out in that deep zone and then allows Randy Moss to get over the top from that deep post. Had AKG not pressed right there, that would have been bagged completely. But because AKG decides to baseline press, and this is why I don't like to baseline press against a gun bunch, it's going to in turn give up a touchdown like that almost every single time because one, the defender doesn't know there's a deep crosser coming from that direction and two you're generally not gonna have enough speed no matter what kind of team you have to get back simply because you baseline press instead of just a simple press where you can back off people and all other stuff so you can see right here again the drag pulls down that deep zone randy moss easily getting over the top for a hot dot so right here this is pretty much going to end the half akg is going to go down four points First and 10, he's completely smothered. There's nobody open. Kind of gets a little bit lucky right there. I think had Ice clicked on quicker, that would have been a pick more than likely. But we get him into a first and 10. So back in first and 10, he kind of gets a good, I guess you could say a good dig route. But now if there's bagged. He probably had Y on that wheel route to the sideline had he pass it. But again, that's kind of a sketchy throw. When we watched Blocky, when we went over Blocky, Blocky is playing very safe, which I think a lot of players could learn from that. He played a really safe style of offense, and in turn, that really helped him out quite a bit as well. So second down, he saw the vertical come back. I want you to see X. Look at X. Look at the right screen. Right screen. X wide open. Problem is, Ice pushes in the right stick, sends that corner down. I believe it's corner. It might have been a linebacker. But he had the vertical coming back, and that would have been a hot dot, at least to get him three more points on the board. This is actually pretty funny. AKG gets completely bailed out right here. There's no, that's a pick. AKG talks right there and says, that's so hot. So hot. That's a dot. And Ice recognizes that. 
Yeah, but realistically, I just know it's like, okay, he got bailed out. But he admits, like, okay, so it's like, good dot. Just so, a just to make AKG think, hey, you're not in my head. You're not in my head right there. I'm still playing my game. I'm still going to beat you no matter what. So five seconds, that's pretty much going to take care of the half. AKG is going down by one into the half with Ice getting the ball to start off. So we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead a little bit right here. So we're starting off the first half as we were talking, second half as we were talking about Ice gets the ball to start out. AKG playing on defense again. Now AKG really loves playing defense. And the very first down of the second half, he sends the house. Sends the dogs and contains. Now, in Mad 20, contains don't always work. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. There are ways you can manipulate a contain and easily get out for a scramble. So right here, first down, AKG, you can see it. Again, I like him being in this 3-4 bear. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. He sends the house. He brings his user down. And he, you, you know he's in a contain because if you look the backside linebacker, the backside linebacker just kind of stands there. Generally, that's a contain that kind of freezes up and doesn't chase down. And so that's kind of a giveaway that he's in a contain blitz right there. At least from my experience, that's what I've noticed. So again, he sends the house again, picks it up, contain gets broken. And that's perfect defense. Perfect defense. Woo! Perfect. I want to talk about that real as we're going through this as well. AKG had two responsibilities in that situation. He had Michael Vick to contain... And he also had the drag. He had to take on two things at once as a user. Played superb defense. That should have been a pick. Now they're even. But that all that yeah, that was I think that was a very understated thing right there. Now this is kind of a sketchy timeout because say KG's down in the fourth quarter, past the two-minute warning. He only got two timeouts to work with, and that could hurt you in the long run. So third and thirteen. AKG's got ice right where he wants him, and he sends the house again. Uh, again. He's sending the crib right here. He goes max protect, sends the blitz, sends the dogs, and he gets lucky. He gets so, so lucky right there. AKG gets the pressure through before that post over the top gets wide open for a touchdown. Had that blitz been picked up, Ice had a touchdown guaranteed every single time against that look. So keep that in mind. AKG got lucky right there. I was kind of unfortunate that Blitz did get picked up. But now AKG is back on offense. So now, first and 10. He runs the ball. It's like HB power out of doubles north. This is a really good run to go against it. But in this situation, I don't, I don't know why anybody would juke right there that's such a terrible decision <laughs> to juke because you have a pulling guard this is a power run you have a guard that is pulling from his natural position to follow you up the gap if you follow that guard right there you got a touchdown all he has to do is block the user for you and you are gone like gone akg i don't know what you're doing man but you got to be patient in that situation and running the ball you got to be patient that's one thing i think the kings really got down pretty good as being patient so here second 11 or first and 10 runs scrambles picks up the ball or picks up a few yards at that point there was nobody open he had the flat open but the problem is you throw to the flat if that's a big hitter trait right there in that the corner or the linebacker or whatever it was the odds of you fumbling are pretty high. So I like that taking out and just scrambling instead of just throwing the ball and maybe getting punched in the face and just getting a better pickup. So right here, you'll notice that he's going to run. I believe he runs sweep if I remember correctly right here. And he'll motion over his slot, John Ross, and that's to pick up this corner right there so he doesn't get chased from behind. You can see right there, Clinton Portis getting jiggy with it. Running, 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 and he is gone. Adios, Clinton Portis. So, that's something that's very consistent. I don't you know, maybe Ice just doesn't pick up on it, because sometimes what AKG would do is he'll motion over that guy and drag 
Sometimes a motion over, HB sweep. HB sweep's nice against 146 because it's a zone run. So your whole offensive line will just pull to the direction of where you're running. It's an outside zone is what it is. Right here, dot. Two hitches with your running back running a vertical up the seam. Dot. And AKG lets him know. AKG lets him know. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So we're going to go ahead and skip just a little bit to 144. So they're kind of going to review a little bit. Moe's talking a little bit. So right here, he's back in his 3-4 bear. I love this look. He gets stuffed in the backfield. Like, you're not running HB sweep against 3-4 bear. I'm just telling you guys right now, with the way that they pull, linebackers are going to come from behind and pick you up every single time. So I I don't know why AKG didn't stay in this 3-4 bear because Ice was struggling against it all game long, and that's a good dot. Now, what AKG did right there... He had to worry about a couple things. First off, he didn't have to worry about the quarterback scrambling because he's sending such a heavy blitz. But him as a user had to take away the flats. I'm going to pause right here because there's a lot that we can cover in this one play. In gun bunch players, usually their primary reads are going to be on the bunch side. Now, this kind of carries over from Madden 18, Madden 19 with Playmaker. And oftentimes, a common thing you'll see that people will do is they'll either soft squat the side of where that one receiver is, or they'll man him up. And in this case, I believe it looks like he manned him up, but that slant route is going to beat man coverage, especially if it's not press. And AKG has to take the flats. He's trying to lurk him to the flats because generally they're going to read bunch to lone side receiver is how a lot of gun bunch players are going to read it. So that was the exact thing that AKG needed to do. He was trying to lurk him in the flat to the tight end. And in turn, Ice makes a good read, throws it to the slant, coming across the middle. So first and 10. AKG giving him this 3-4 bear blitz. Look again, there's literally nobody for Gale Sayers to go. There's, there's nobody. Four rushes. For negative eight yards. Even AKG says it. Pass that ball, man. Pass that ball. You got Vic, Ice. I, I crack up about BEs. This is a sports video game. Let him talk. Good grief. They're, they're, they're old enough to handle it. Ice is old enough. He likes to talk crap, so let him talk crap. So second and seven freaking team, man. Ice has him where he wants him. He wants him to go max protect right here. And you guys are going to kind of see that this really bites him in the butt. He's got two deep zones, deep half, outside third, and he's right there, flats wide open. AKG clicks onto the defender, gets inside leverage of that wide receiver, and is able to make a tackle. And Mo even agrees. I'm just saying. Just saying. So first, so we're going to be third and seven. It's going to be really, really short right here. Same exact look. Looks like he's going to be showing a blitzing 20 item. And he, again, he's one good to force him into max protect. Screams and ooh, gets lucky. Gets super lucky right there that that is not a pick. That should be a pick. So AKG saw that hitch right there. And he was trying to bait him into throwing it and nearly came away with it. So plays great defense right there. Same look. Send the crib. And gets the first down and a terrible, terrible user decision. We're going to go ahead and skip this part right here. He ends up pausing it. But I kind of want to pause and talk about that a little bit. I, I don't like the adjustment he made. AKG gave him the same exact look. And Ice picked up on that. Is AKG was putting his corner into an outside third. I believe his safety may have been in an outside or inside quarter. Maybe a deep half. It's kind of hard to tell. But I don't know why you want to put a deep half and a cloud like kind of a cover two shell on that side of the field, especially if fourth and seven. Perhaps if it was fourth and 17 or something like that, then I could understand as to why you would do that adjustment. But in a shorter down, a fourth and manageable, there's no reason you really shouldn't have a cloud flat on that side of the field. Take away that little short route and you as a user just swing over if there's a corner out and take the corner out away so we're gonna go ahead and skip a little bit ahead right here to get akg back on offense so first and ten you'll see 
AKG is going to look for this cover 3 beater again. He tries, like, both of these guys are trying to beat their cover 3 over the top. And right here, AKG, you guys will see, he gets really unfortunate overthrow by Aaron Rodgers, which I've never really seen Aaron Rodgers overthrow too much. But he goes into max protect with a drag. Post route trying to beat cover 3 over the top. He knows he can't get it. He's got the pressure coming into his face. And in turn, Aaron Rodgers overthrows the drag to get him into second 10. So this play is stick. It's a streak, a corner, a flat, and a slant. Pretty much everything is open. He just has to throw it. And he throws it to a hot dot corner out for a first and 10. That was beautiful play design by AKG Stick. Pretty difficult to guard because that corner out is going to get underneath an outside third. And since he knows he's in a cover three shell, he's going to throw that and get a first down. So again, HB sweep, common theme right here. Portis trucks him. Now AKG's like, hey, I didn't truck. Uh, I, don't, I don't know unless his control is really that messed up. I kind of find it hard to believe that it wasn't his fault. So... Second and seven, he goes back into the sweep, and well, this time the result is going to be a little different. Same thing, motion over, tried to pick up the outside linebacker so he doesn't get chased down, and the blocking just kind of gets screwed right there, and he gets stuffed in the backfield. The blocking was just really bad right there. Third and 11, this is going to be big. A lot of people are going to say, this is a bailout. This is not a bailout. This is called user on user, and this is going to be a laser. So he drops off coverage, big mistake, third and 11. I don't know why he would do that, but playmakers him up, swerves a little bit, and he gets the catch. Now, a lot of people are going to be saying, that was a bailout, such a bailout, such a bailout. Well, Ice was not in position at all to make that catch, for one. Number two, AKG was in position to make the catch. He got inside leverage of that defender and therefore was able to make the play on that ball. A little baby swerve to get that possession toe tap animation for a dot. So that was a great catch. Even better user catch. Great throw, better user catch, and a hot dot. It is. And it is a dot. So user on user, big play right there. So first and 10. AKG starts to lose his cool a little bit right here. Goes into this HP power out of doubles north and he gets a little unlucky right there. I don't know what happened. It's it's kind of like the stumble animation engaged super late or just didn't there's no response from it. That was just really, really unlucky. So in this situation, the game is in your hand. I'm gonna pause just a little bit right here. You got three and a half minutes, AKG. Why are we going fast right here? Why on earth are we moving, trying to snap this ball with almost 20 seconds to go? Like what? Dude, you have the game in your hand right there. Now I know he's trying to get aggressive, trying to score a touchdown, blah, blah, blah. But nonetheless, why? If you guys were listening right there, what Mo said, that's gonna be a big piece of information, which I was actually gonna say as well. How do you not get that first down right there? Why not just slap on that chew clock for a couple downs? Drain the clock. There's no reason you should be hurrying right here. This is what you should do every single time. Just let, exactly. Under 2 minutes, 40 seconds. Because then the next drive, you could have easily got it down to the 2. The next down, you could get it down to the 2 minute warning. So Ice, in turn, would have to start using his timeouts. Instead, AKG gets a touchdown and gives Ice a lot of time. I mean, a lot of time. The two-minute warning hasn't even came yet. He's got a little over like two and a half minutes to go, and about 35 seconds to go, roughly, before the two-minute warning even arrives. So about 34 seconds before two-minute warning. That's easily enough time for two downs before... <laughs> You get to the two minute warning. That, that to me is. Whew, that's crazy. So, AKG starts to make the one adjustment that he needed to earlier. Had he made this adjustment at the very beginning of the game, that touchdown that AKG gave up 
would have never been there. Never would have been there at all. And he probably would have got a pick on it, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. So, starts to make that one adjustment he needs. Again, going back into the 3-4 bear pinch mic. Oh, this blitz is super good, and I'm glad that AKG starts staying in it a little bit more. I think he should have been in it way earlier. But right here, starts making the adjustment. He puts this guy into a cloud flat, and it's containing the run, containing the little flats for only a gain of two yards. At this point, you can give that up. I'd be happy to let my opponent have two yards every single time, especially if he's wanting to flip his bunch, do this, all the other unnecessary stuff. You're wasting time at this point, Ice. So he goes to max protect, two routes it, and he scrambles with Vic. So that was a good scramble. I kind of wish that AKG probably would have had a spy right there, especially had he seen Moss motion in to block. Put somebody in a spy, put a defensive back into a spy, your user, watch him, I don't know, do something else instead of just continuously sending. You gotta start doing a little more adjustments behind this. And right here, sends the dogs again. Sends the dogs. Second and 21. Right here, AKG makes a big adjustment. That lone side receiver, right over here, that's a deep half. That's just to prevent this Tory Holt from getting over the top and beating this cover three. It's now a kind of a cover nine, cover six, you can see right there. There is nobody open. And right there, the fat man just can't simply keep up. So, gets out of bounds. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. This is where you start to play bend, don't break. There's one adjustment AKG can make right here. There's just one that he can make to probably bag this up pretty easy. And right there, I'm assuming he put him into a soft squat probably. And that's why he was able to fit in. Because often soft squats will match with the man that they're lined up to. So, yeah, kind of unfortunate right there. Right here, puts this guy into a cloud flat. Stops it for only a gain of yard. At this point, you should be fine with that. A gain of yard, two yards. Three, even four is a little iffy, but small stuff, you give up the smaller stuff all day long. All day long. So third and six, sends the dogs again. And right here, one adjustment nearly cost him the game. And that's putting that corner into an outside third. I don't know why he continuously do that. He needs, he should have put him in, he needs to put that cloud plot over there. If he, can, if he gets a cloud plot right there, that's a bag. That's 100% bag, I can promise you. Cloud flat play that sticks, nothing there whatsoever. So now he gets him into a running down. Obviously it's stretch. There's nobody there, there's no lane. They, they, they make him lose his two yards. So, he has, I don't think he's got one positive gain for a yard. So he has to go back into this gun bunch week. We get him into a second and goal. And he makes the right adjustment. Finally, AKG makes the correct adjustment. And this situation bags him. And you guys will see what's going to end up happening right here. There's probably a cloud flat or a heart flat. This is kind of hard to tell at some points. Bagged my his life away. And uh, gets an unfortunate drop. Now that was game right there. But Ray Lewis just isn't great in coverage. And so it's kind of... What you can expect right there so right here perfect adjustment third and goal you can't get much better outside third inside third from Deion Sanders pick game so with that simple adjustment with this simple chess game this being a cat and mouse game it makes it to where you have to really start reading the defense pre-snap and post-snap post-snap particularly when you're going against good players because in order to know what they're doing on defense you have to read it and after snapping the ball so many times you should by then know what their favorite adjustment is to go to and you saw AKG would often put it outside third sometimes a cloth flat and a deep half maybe inside quarter on that side of the field and because I don't know, because Ice got lackadaisical or lazy, whatever you guys want to say it. He threw it right at Deion Sanders, right at prime time. Forced an unnecessary ball instead of just like trying to roll out, throw it away, or just trying to make a play with Michael Vick and scramble. And he throws it for the game. 
So terrible read. That should have been picked earlier anyways. So great defense for AKG. Terrible, awful read for Ice. <clears throat> But anyways, that's going to take care of this video. The next one we'll probably be going over is AKG's offense. And we'll maybe, if we have time, get into Ice's defense and offense. Since there's a lot to cover for both of them, we're going to be breaking down into multiple videos. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Usually I post Monday plays. I'm going to have one coming up here soon that I'm going to be posting. Hit that little notification bell. And until next time, guys, get in the lab. This has been T-Meister. See ya.